This video is sponsored by TubeEdits.com. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you why limiters are super cool. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Tyler Kidd. I am a YouTuber, freelance video editor, and a musician on the side for fun. In this video, I'm gonna show you why limiters are dope. So today, we're talking about limiters and why I like to use them on my YouTube videos. So a lot of the times I'm watching YouTube videos and quite often I'm turning the volume up and down trying to mix it correctly because the person who recorded the video didn't really mix their audio correctly. Now I'm not a professional, I'm not, you know, a producer, I'm not, you know, really experienced in any of this, but I know what limiters do and I know why limiters are cool. So. Today, I'm gonna throw a limiter on our video and you're gonna see why limiters work really well. So if we go into Adobe Premiere and we open up our Adobe Audio Effects Rack, then we can see that we have these master channels and all that. So we just wanna open those up and then there's gonna be a little drop down, and we want to select compression and then we're gonna grab hard limiter. And what we do, and what I like to do, is set it to negative 12 dB on the master track, just because that's the standard, but some people, they master their tracks at zero dB. So that's kind of, you know, up in the air, but don't really worry about that. What we're looking at is the second dropdown option, which is input boost. So what's great about this is if your volume on your master track is crazy and all over the place, like maybe your normal music is too loud compared to your vocals, then this will kind of blend the two together and compress them together and bring those quiet audio levels up while kind of keeping it all together. So what's good about this and what's important in doing this is you save a lot of time. You know, instead of setting up your camera and setting up your studio every week, once a week, every day, all that jazz, you're just doing it that one time and you're pumping out all of that content one time, one shot, getting it done. So why limiters are better than compressors, in my opinion, is because it keeps it from clipping. You can set your clip point. So that's why we put our clip point to negative 12 dB on the master track and then we can just push our input boost into that and compress the crap out of this audio track so that way it's a consistent volume throughout the whole youtube video instead of you know having all these dynamics and having people change their volume knob every time they're watching your youtube video now similarly you can add a limiter track to like your background music so that way your background music doesn't go over like negative 25 db what I also like to do is add a low pass filter to my background music so that way those high frequencies aren't competing with my voice. If you have a second, please check out my website, tubeedits.com. We offer affordable monthly video editing packages for YouTubers, realtors, small businesses, and others that need recurring video editing. Again, please head on over to tubeedits.com and tell your friends. Thank you. All right, guys, so that's why limiters are dope. That's why limiters are super cool. That's why I like to use them in my videos, and I encourage you to use them in yours so your viewers don't have to keep you know, changing their volume knob, and you're gonna make it a lot easier and a more pleasurable experience for them watching your YouTube videos. So again, I'm Tyler Kidd. If you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Uh, thanks again, have a great day, bye.